My name's Akira. I'm the top dog at this high school. I'm so tough that even if a bunch of guys from other schools got together, they wouldn't be able to touch me. That's me, but I'm currently facing the biggest crisis of my life so far. You. What the hell did you just say? Uh, I said, please make me your student. Seems like I didn't mishear that. My student? Are you some kind of idiot that only looks smart? What do you want to be my student for? Uh, I want... I want to be a delinquent! <laughs> this girl with the tacky glasses is our class president, Shizuka. A total outcast. Super serious student who transferred in halfway into the first year at a school with people like me. Listen, you've got entrance exams next year, right? Someone headed to college like you becoming a delinquent. Are you stupid? D don't you have entrance exams next year too? No, not gonna bother. But, but I just want to be a baddie. Alright, I get it, I get it. It's that, right? You had to transfer schools in the middle of the year. But the only school accepting transfers at that time was our school. So you tried your best to study. But your parents wouldn't stop nagging you. So you got mad and wanted to do bad things, right? How do you know all that? I was right. And besides, you're so scared and you still want to be my student? Haven't you been shaking nonstop? Well, well, if I was going to learn, I thought I would learn from the best. So diligent. Huh? If you're going to be a delinquent, get rid of the glasses. They're dangerous and in the way. And get rid of those stupid pigtails. People are going to look down on you. Uh... Can I really become a delinquent like this? <sighs> uh, you, you Put your glasses back on for a second! Uh, uh, okay. So, it's not good? I... I mean... It was okay. Do you really mean that? I look more like a delinquent without glasses, right? This girl... She's too cute without her glasses on! And when you think of delinquents, it has to be blonde hair, right? Huh? Don't do it! What a waste! Eh? Uh... What, uh... What we... What we should do as delinquents is to make use of our original colors. Eh? Huh? Our original colors... Th that's what it means to be a delinquent to me! Your dark hair looks so beautiful against your fair skin! I... I see! So next we should talk about skirt length, right? <laughs> you idiot! Delinquents gotta have super long skirts! Akira-san, are you okay? But... But that's what they used to wear a long time ago. Shut up! If you want to be my student, your skirt needs to be below your knees! <laughs> so that means you will take me on as your student! <sighs> It can't be helped. Uh, brother, I will take care of your wounds right away. And your nose. R right. From the wall. Y yeah And don't call me brother. Akira is fine. Is that... But I'm your student, you know? Is that okay? I'm the type that prefers to have an equal relationship between teacher and student. It's not even a student-teacher relationship anymore. Uh, okay then, Akira. Cute. It's a little embarrassing without honorifics. Is Akira kun no good? You want to be bad, right? Only goody two-shoes use honorifics. Th that's true. I understand. Then, Akira, allow me to escort you to your home. Escort? I will handle your luggage. No, thank you. Uh, my bag! I'm the type that prefers to carry his student stuff. As... as expected. Huh? 
I had thought the delinquents had underlings to show off their own strength, and that they would torment them as well. But the best delinquents are different! Building an equal relationship with their subordinates and making sure to care for them! The ideal boss! A mirror image of a growing company! That doesn't have anything to do with delinquents anymore. That kind of delinquent has a girlfriend? What does he plan to do with such a serious looking girl? W well it must look like she's my girlfriend to other people. So, where's your house? It's near the post office. That's the opposite direction! I will escort you home first. Idiot! It'll be dark on the way back! But, but... Come on, we're going. If you're my underling, you need to take care of yourself first. Okay. <laughs> I grabbed your hand in the middle of it! Hey, hey, Makira. Huh? That's an awfully cute girl you got with you. She your woman? That's not... That's right! I'm Akira's woman! <gasps> Wait, do you know what that means? Eh? Doesn't it mean that I'm your female underling? Wait, 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 wait. You might be my senior in delinquency, but I won't let you lay a hand on Akira! Aren't you energetic, cutie? Come play with me instead. I'll teach you all sorts of fun things. I'm still in the middle of my apprenticeship, so I can't do that. <sighs> if you put so much as a finger on her... I'll show you what hell looks like! I... I forgot I had some urgent business. Later! Are you okay? That was scary, but I tried my best. <laughs> How about you give up on being a delinquent? Huh? I refuse! I want to be the strongest delinquent, just like Akira! You know to be the strongest. You'd have to beat me first, right? Of course! Someday I will definitely surpass you! <sighs> what should I do? How do I tell her? Huh? Your face is kind of red, you know. That's just from the sunset, idiot. How do I tell her that I've already lost? My name's Akira Ichihara. I'm a loner who's as plain as the rocks beside an asphalt road, and about as ugly. And I'm often bullied by my classmates. Hey Akira! Let's play a game! R right now? Right now! We're going to throw empty cans into the trash can from the podium! But that's impossible! Don't worry! If you miss, there's only a punishment game for you! A punishment game? My classmates always force me to play in these kinds of games. And of course, someone like me can't really refuse to play. If I said no, they would probably be upset at me. Please go in. It's just... Oh no, that I... Too bad! You get the punishment! I have never won in one of their games before. So lame! <laughs> In other words, I was set up to have to play the punishment game from the start. I just want to leave. What's the punishment this time? Sure! This time you need to pick a girl to go on a date with. The girl you pick can't refuse either! What? Even though I told them to stop involving others in my punishment games! What? With Ichihara? That's a little rough for me. The real punishment is being picked by him. This is... I'd better choose someone very carefully. To be honest, I'd like to go on a date with Nanamori-san or Igarashi-san. But if I chose someone like that, they'd definitely make fun of me for trying to go with them. Honestly, it would be more difficult because of how awkward it would be. Loner. 
And if they had a boyfriend, I'd definitely get beat up later. In this situation, someone who I could end a date with just blindly staring ahead would be best. <sighs> hmm. That's right! The loneliest girl in our class! Shizuka Momose-san, please go on a date with me. Huh? Seriously? A pair of loners. They're perfect for each other. It's decided. You two have a proper date this Saturday, all right? And if you don't take pictures, you'll do it again. Ugh. Momose-san, I'm really sorry. And then came Saturday. The day of my date with Shizuka-san had finally come. I feel bad for Momose-san, so I tried my best to dress decently, but... First things first, I need to apologize for getting her involved with this. There you are! Sorry for the waiting, Chihara-kun! Huh? Momose-san? Chihara-kun! I'm in front of you! Wait, where? Huh? Momose-san, can you actually turn invisible? Listen, there's this crazy beautiful girl here and I want to get away as soon as possible. It would be great if you could turn visible soon. Ichihara-kun! It's me! Shizuka Momose! Uh, what? How did... Momose-san? The real one? What about your glasses? Your clothes? Where's your usual aura? <laughs> Is it really that different? It's more than just different. You're a completely different person. Hey, let's talk while we have some ice cream. Th this has gotten really out of hand. How did I end up on a date with this incredibly beautiful girl? I let my guard down thinking a quiet girl with glasses would show up. Sorry, was it too cold for ice cream? No, I... I'm shaking because I'm nervous. Nervous? What for? I just didn't think that you were such a pretty girl. I knew it. Hey, it's alright if you got angry and called me a liar that I was lying to you, you know? No, I wouldn't get angry at you. It's alright if you want to tell me these clothes don't suit me at all. Or that being an ugly loner better suits someone like me, you know? Well, I don't think that. I think those clothes suit you, and that you're very pretty. And this... was pointless. Uh, what? Aww. And here I thought this was the perfect chance for my wish to finally come true! Excuse me? I failed. Maybe I should have come in my loner mode? <gasps> Hello? The reason why I dress so plain at school is because when I'm in loner mode, people call me plain and boring on their own. That really is the best. Huh? What's wrong? Don't you understand? Since you're a loner too. Oh, sorry. I am a loner, but I don't understand the feeling. People click their tongues when you bump into them. People give you disapproving looks, and you get treated like you're in the way. You don't even have to do anything, you know? So basically, this pretty girl version is the real you? And you've just been pretending to be a loner at school. So that people would bully you? Don't screw with me! Apologize to everyone who doesn't want to be a loner! You're disgusting! You could yell at me like that, you know? While writhing about, she thinks back. Hey, you can be a little harsher on me, okay? Like, I wanted to go on a date with a loner named Shizuka Momose. I don't remember inviting some flirtatious girl like you. I can't keep up with what you're saying, so could you shut up for a minute? Uh, s sorry, I said too much. <laughs> that was a good one. Is there something wrong with your head? Yes! My god! There's something wrong with me! That's not something you should say so happily, you know? Yes! Keep going! I know all about it! The normally quiet types have a lot of resentment built up, so when they get mad, they're more aggressive. You've got talent!
talent, Ichihara kun. I don't want that kind of talent. What kind of life is she living? She's pretty, but messed up. Uh, Momose san, I know you wouldn't want to hear it from me, but it's such a waste. If you just went to school normally, you could have enjoyed your school life. Huh? I was pretty normal at school up until middle school, looking like this. What? Then why did... I had a high school debut! That's the wrong kind of debut! Since my debut, it's been surprise after surprise! Just for being alone, people would call me Aura. I don't think the people who said that would expect it to excite you, though. Could it be... that you aren't happy about it, Ichihara-kun? Nope, I'm not happy. Normally, those are words meant to hurt people. And when they're hurt, they don't feel happy about it. I hate that I can't say anything back when I'm forced into these kinds of games. I really didn't want to go on today's date either. <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh, it's not your fault at all. In fact, I should be the one apologizing to you for getting you caught up in this punishment game. Actually, I was really happy that you ended up choosing me. I mean, I'm weird about it, right? Thank you for today. For inviting me out here. Let's take a picture together. And then we can call it a day. <sighs> yeah. That was the first time I had ever met someone who could take things on like that. I can't feel glad about being bullied. But Momose-san, who can enjoy even that, I thought, could surely enjoy anything in life. And I was jealous of her. And so, Monday came. Momose-san, so she's really like that at school. Hey, Akira! Did you go on that date? Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Good for you! Show us the picture. Uh, here. Huh? Wait a second. So you went with someone other than Momose-san? That's Momose-san. Hey, don't lie to me! Who the hell is this? She's too good for you! But I'm not lying! Lying isn't good, Akira! Looks like another punishment game for you! What? But I really wasn't lying! Wait! If it's a punishment game, let me do it! What? I'll do it! Wait! Please let me do it! Huh? W wait a second, Momose-san! It's my punishment game! I refuse! I want to do the punishment! Whenever Ichihara-kun has to do a punishment game, let me do them from now on! Don't say things like that! I'm the one who should have to deal with it! <laughs> hey! Why? You said that you didn't want any part of them! Hey! Even so, there's no reason for you to do it in my place! What kind of person wants to be punished? I'm over it. Yeah. Huh? It's over. Wait. Did she say that on purpose? Afterwards, my classmates stopped dragging me into their games. Even when I was alone at my seat, nobody came to pick on me. It's just... Oh, there you are! that there was one thing that changed. Ichihara-kun, you seem like you're bored. That's not true. It's just that it's been refreshing. Thanks to you, I haven't been forced into any weird games. Thank you. <laughs> hey, how about we play a game? What? The loser gets a punishment game. <laughs> that sounds fun. Nice! What game should we play? You didn't decide on one first? I never knew a game with someone you trust could be so exciting. And that may be... Punishment games aren't something that you do reluctantly. This time, the punishment game would probably be fun too, but... Well, what should we play? I would never tell her that. My childhood friend is in front of my house. She lives next door since kindergarten. Her name is Aoi. Are you okay? Your arm. Oh, I just got back from the hospital and my bone is broken. Oh no, a 
Akira, your college entrance exam is coming up soon. It's nothing. That guy, though. He's the worst. I can't believe he hurt you, Akira. That guy that Aoi is referring to is the one who broke my arm. He's Aoi's high school classmate and is, so to speak, a delinquent. He seemed to like Aoi, and he even showed up in front of her house and messed with her. I could see what was going on from my room, and I tried to stop him. Then he got violent, and we ended up in a fight. I fell, and I broke my arm. So, have you heard anything from him? Yes. He said that if I don't agree to become his girlfriend, he'll hurt you again. I guess he found out that I actually like you. <laughs> Owie, you said you liked me? Yes, but never mind. I decided to become his girlfriend. I don't want him to hurt you anymore. Hey, does that mean you're going to become his girlfriend just to protect me? You have an important exam coming up soon. At such an important time, you got hurt because of me. I don't want to cause any more trouble for you, Akira. <laughs> Damn, I'll definitely get you back. Akira, does that mean you like me too? I'll get you back after the exams, I promise. He better be ready for it. Akira? <laughs> Did you really think I'd say that? Uh, huh? You like me so much that you'd become the girlfriend of a guy you hate just to protect me? It's like a manga plot! Is your brain nothing but crab miso? That's rude! But I'm glad it's a delicacy at least! <laughs> Ow! You're such an airhead. That's why you're being hit on by a guy with a haircut that looks like a deck brush. Yeah, I'm so sorry! Now, just call him up and dump him. What? But then he will... Didn't you listen to what I've just said? I'm telling you, I'm not happy when you do that. If you understand, then call him right now and break up with him. Uh, 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 oh, um, I'm very sorry to say this, but I would like to break up with you. What? You know what will happen to Akira if you do that, don't you? Uh, uh yes. Still, I would like to break up... Right now! Break up with me! Anyway, I told him my feelings. Well, once you've committed to a relationship, you can't go back on it so easily. Oh, um, Akira? What? Um, Akira, you like me too, right? At least, I like you enough that I don't want you to have a relationship with a guy you don't like. How much do you like me? I liked you enough to want to have you as my girlfriend, but because of your strange behavior, your stock is currently falling. Did I do something bad? What kind of man would be happy to be protected by the woman he loves? The woman he loves? <sighs> Ow! So, so what will you do if he comes back? I'll just tell him to go home because you've become my girlfriend. Will he give up with just that? There's no way I'm giving up. Why are you here? Even if you suddenly tell me to break up with you, I need to hurt that guy so you come back to me. Don't hurt him anymore! That's up to you, isn't it, Aoi? Oh, no... Aoi's now my girlfriend, so go home. What? Stop showing off! You're just a powerless nerd! Same to you! You're the one who can't go out with Aoi without taking a hostage! So don't get cocky! Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Uh, but I have nothing else. There's no way she will go out with me if I asked her normally. So stop pretending! You're trying to make her believe that you are a delinquent, then making her realize that you are a nice guy afterwards? That's just so annoying. You've been pretending to be something you're not, but you want her to know who you really are. Uh, why is everyone's mind filled with manga? You read way too much manga, and that's why you come up with weird tactics. Oh no, it's not manga's fault. Yeah, that's right. Manga always gives us excitement and thrills. I'm just saying, don't bring that excitement and thrill into the real world. By the way, why are you on his side? 
because I like you, but I can't stand when you talk bad about manga. How dumb can you be? You're on the same level as that delinquent. Hey, that's mean. But I like your sadistic side. Oh, what does that make me? But you made me upset. I'm not going to go easy on you until you can't say anything back. Owie, what are you going to do? I'm sorry, but if it's a verbal fight, you can't defeat me. You said it's a verbal fight. In that case, how about this? <laughs> I guess I win this fight. My first kiss. What? Didn't you like me? So what's the problem? That's not romantic at all. You suck. Did you expect it to be like shoujo manga? Enough already. You guys should go out. You're perfect for each other. Damn it. <laughs> what? Did he give up already? Thus, I successfully got Aoi back from the delinquent and became a couple. You really got me back. I was afraid of what would happen at first, but... Thanks, Akira. I'm happy to be your girlfriend, although our relationship started out this way. But please treat me well. Aoi, erase her. Now. Yes? Can you erase this? It's hard to use the eraser when you only have one hand. Hey... How can you ruin the mood like that even though you cared before? I'm sorry, but that's put on hold until after the exam. I'm concentrating on my studies. Aw, no way. Actually, I was going to officially confess after the exam. But that delinquent ruined my whole plan. It's hard to write with my left hand. And Owie is such an idiot. Who could have predicted an ending like this? Life doesn't turn out the way you expect it to. Since we are not in a manga. <sighs> You're actually in a manga!